Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you guys here. So guys, you must be wondering why I have this beautiful image on the video um with all the chakras lit up and this is like a beautiful um image of your higher self meditating and self realizing themselves. What is going on, okay? So basically, I planned on not doing a video for this uh specific to uh, topic. All right. I wanted to talk about it uh through my audio just talking to you guys and channeling some messages that I was um getting while I was in the shower. Okay, a very very intimate moment when I was in the shower and I was just channeling certain things because today is the full moon in Pisces, okay? And Pisces rules the oceans and the depths of the oceans and the mysteries behind the ocean. Right? So um when I was in the shower I was getting getting certain downloads that I wanted to share with you guys and these downloads are something that I personally would like you to journal about because these are very very deep things that I was channeling and as I was channeling I was I definitely felt like this was not me uh but this was an aspect of me that is higher than myself it is grander it knows more it sees more and it can it can laugh at things easily and it can let go of things very easily than um any other aspect of myself so uh i'm sure that you guys are already intrigued uh today is september 18th it's the full moon in pisces all right so uh now the channeling that i got for you guys was the first one i i hope that you have your pen and paper if you don't have your pen and paper you can just um write it down on your notes there's an app called hover note where you can just um while watching the video you can type the notes that i'm talking to you about so you can download it and you can just type while i'm talking or you can just write down in the comments and then uh copy it into your phone or something like that okay so here is how it goes first download that i got for you guys <sighs> i hope you're ready for this guys first download do you realize how powerful you are when you completely embody your higher self and shatter duality of good versus evil right versus wrong dark versus light anything that has a form in duality is in conflict with each other but when you unite those opposing forces that is the original essence of the supreme within you right so my question to you is do you realize how powerful you are when you completely embody your higher self and shatter duality when you shatter all the opposing forces within you what is the result of that do you have the power to embody that to embrace that aspect of yourself that is supreme that is ever powerful right so this is a question that you need to ask yourself during this full moon in pisces because i was channeling this and as i was channeling this i was just getting goosebumps like all over my body and i was like damn seriously the power that comes with that is something else so this is the first question that you're meant to journal about okay um and please let me know what answers you come up with you can type it down in the comments below you can just uh think about it while i'm talking to you right now and something will unlock within you and you will be able to describe this to me you will be able to describe your divine essence to me in the comments okay now the next point the next download that i have for you the next question that you're supposed to think about to ponder about is Can you imagine holding unity within your body and the amount of energy you will receive from the beings in the cosmos holding that same frequency I'm going to repeat myself again for you guys 
can you imagine holding unity within your body and the amount of energy you will receive from the beings in the cosmos holding that same frequency right this is the next download that i had for you guys for you to ponder and answer for yourself okay question and answer both are an aspect of you right and sometimes like i hear seven bomar from his channel in a standing he talks about um how it's a frequency thing <clears throat> it's a frequency thing to be able to tap into your ultimate self into your supreme self right um because your supreme self is sovereign now what do i mean by sovereign sovereign is a frequency it's an energy mm-hmm. that is above all kings all rulers okay so suppose if you have kings okay you had kings in history who ruled who ruled over lands right so you have these beings in the cosmos who rule over you right there are beings in the cosmos who think that you are their intellectual property because you're using their body you're using their technology to be able to live on planet earth and things like that so they give you these opposing forces right but a sovereign is someone who protects the planet who guards the planet who takes care of the planet but also one who takes care of himself who protects himself or herself in the process and doesn't forget himself or herself in the process of protecting others or guarding others or guarding the planet right so sovereign and sovereignty is above rulership it is beyond rulership right so do you have the capacity to accept the sovereignty within you of your supreme self which is what this question is about can you imagine holding unity within your body and the amount of energy you will receive from the beings in the cosmos holding that same frequency right because your sovereign self is going to easily laugh at situations that have been very difficult or very jarring right your higher self understands that everything that happened to you was necessary in order for your soul's growth and evolution right so that was the second question for you guys now i'm sorry i'm having dinner so if you hear me chewing um i'm just trying to embody all aspects of myself and not being ashamed of one aspect and be like oh my god are people going to think i'm icky are people going to think i'm chewing while i'm talking and it's so like it's not sophisticated or it's not how it should be or whatever so automatically i will lose people who are not meant to hear this gem forward right so i'm glad that i'm doing that because i want to embody all aspects of myself i want to let go of shame i want to let go of any form of control and i'm sure that you guys are doing that during this full moon okay some of you are definitely crying a lot missing a lot of things from the past there's a nostalgic energy but you're letting it go and i appreciate that i i commend that i applaud at your strength collective i applaud at your strength okay So now the next point for you my loves the next point for you to journal about the third point the third question for you for the spicies full moon collective message and collective downloads exclusively available by me because this is generated from within me is do you have the ability to laugh at the traumas you have been through as that itself is the trickery of the illusion or maya okay because maya illusion trickery and the power of illusion it's funny because um it tricks you into believing that everything that you're going through everything that um your life is throwing at you and every sorrowful circumstance every agonizing circumstance every um traumatizing circumstance become so real for you in that moment and you believe it and you form an identity over it and of course the rulers and the so called rulers have capitalized on that have capitalized on your brainwashed self 
and your ability to be able to fit into that box and identify yourself with that drama so do you have the ability my loves to laugh at the trauma as you have been through as that itself is the trickery of illusion and maya do you have the ability to do that because your higher self definitely does your higher self laughs you know your angel gang gang or whatever you feel is guiding you your guides your spirit guides your guardian angels whatever it is that you think about right they can laugh at these things and they can just be like oh my god my human self is just lost in that illusion and they really believe it so we have to have patience we have to wait for them to realize certain things and you know even with this whole pandemic thing people are waking up people are waking up okay so this is why this is the collective message that i have for you to prompt and to to write down about okay do you have the ability to laugh at those very serious moments of your life where your whole life changed and um you were traumatized and you were abused and you were uh, taken advantage of in some way okay do you have the ability to forgive those people who did that to you because it's trickery it's maya it's an illusion okay right now the fourth question for you guys my loves okay the fourth question are you ready are you ready for this one i'm sure you are okay because if you lasted till here i'm sure you are very very serious about your evolution about your development and about things and the mysteries of the cosmos okay so the next question for you to journal about is do you have the depth to be able to surrender to the nothingness the void the black hole which is the seed of your light body okay so what is nothingness you are nothingness okay first of all to accept the fact that you are nothing you know your ego automatically gets triggered like oh my god is she calling us nothing seriously but that is the ultimate truth that is the ultimate truth you're nothing okay and nothingness is where everything is trust me but it's not because we are greedy to have everything that we go towards nothingness that's another trickery and illusion of the maya okay to trick your ego into believing that there's everything in there and then you go for that greed and that that desire okay because once you have that desire it's already not nothing okay so that's another trick that your consciousness plays and your subconscious energies play with you okay so do you have the depth to be able to surrender to the nothingness the void the black hole which is the seed of your light body so you are nothingness you you have a void within you okay because of the traumatic experiences that you guys have been through okay there's this void that has been created within your light body and that void is your shadow self the part of you which is very difficult to accept for yourself it's it surrounds itself with shame guilt fear um mm, any form of repressed emotions right so that is the void that you have created within you through the traumas that have occurred okay which you have very shockingly taken as real to you right so since that void is created that black hole is created within you now that black hole itself has magnetism have you seen videos of black holes in fact after this video i would suggest that you go and watch this documentary called black hole which is b l a c k space w h o l e that's black hole by nasim harmain okay nasim harmain he's a scientist and he talks about uh, the black hole and the toroidal field and the torus field and how it is formed okay and it is within each of us right so that black hole itself is magnetic in nature okay so because of that magnetism what you're doing my loves is you are attracting experiences to yourselves through that shadow and that black hole that you have created within yourself by the traumas that you've experienced so it's a time to look at it it's a time to magnify it and to surrender to this surrender to this aspect of yourself that 
thinks and that feels and that believes so strongly that it is weak and that it is ashamed of itself and that it is not accepting of itself okay mm-hmm. surrender to that aspect of yourself that will very much help you right and do you have the depth to be able to surrender though that is a journal question for you to journal about okay uh to able to surrender to the nothingness which is the seed of your light body okay because that is how you will ascend into the next chapter of your ascension into your light body and into the other realm which is the realm of unity okay unity consciousness okay consciousness of the supreme right now the last question my loves for you last question which is the most substantial question that i got when i was channeling for you guys okay <clears throat> wow you can already feel that my throat is acting up uh, when i'm talking about this right so it's a huge download it's a huge block um and a huge spiral of download that i'm like digesting right now but fifth question for you to think about ponder about is can you see opposition as an opportunity for refinement i'm going to repeat it once again for you guys can you see opposition as an opportunity for refinement okay because this is what is happening with all of us as a collective we go through oppositions challenges upheavals struggles ups and downs moodiness right feeling cranky feeling like throwing tantrums at life cursing life for what it is doing to us all those negative emotions that we go through it's like a whole ocean of them that we all collectively go through because we all believe in this reality and we all believe that the sun is rising so the sun rises for us it's all us who has created all of this i hope you believe in these things if not i mean you're definitely you will take some time to learn these things but once you do you will become like a wise baby <laughs> wise baby okay so can you see opposition as an opportunity for refinement so any opposition that occurs in front of you any conflict anyone that is against you okay be it even in the spiritual realm you find demons you find dark entities who you find people doing black magic you find people doing sorcery and trying to do it against others free will and take away and um there's fears surrounding all of this of the unknown fears of the unknown fears of death right death is an opposition to life right wow very deep okay this i i'm just going with the flow i i haven't even written this just going with the flow so since death is the opposition of life can you see death as an opportunity for your refinement can you see all of those oppositions and all of those negative things that i just mentioned that we have labeled as negative because we are in dual world and we are meant to learn with the elements that we have been given which is earth air fire water and spirit ether right so can you see all of these oppositions as an opportunity for perfecting yourself okay because even the divine the creator who created everything okay who is a part of you and me and all of us they also made mistakes <laughs> like i mean they also made mistakes hello and you guys think that um you know the divine creator can never make mistakes and i want to be as perfect as them well hello they have been through the initiation that you're going through right now okay they've been through all of this and they've mastered it they have mastered all of this so this is a time for you to step into self mastery right listen to the content that feeds your soul that nourishes and soothes your soul where in the full moon in pisces pisces talks about the soul okay aries is the alpha and pisces is the omega it's the end the surrender the surrendering to the divine okay letting go okay opening your heart up opening yourself up because there is no control okay when there is no control to things to events in your life how fluid can you be during that time how fluid can you be when death is approaching how open can you be to it 
how accepting can you hug death can you embrace all of the aspects of the opposition that surrounds you right now be it any challenge that you're seeing in your life can you see it as an opportunity for refinement of your soul because if you can now you have entered the realm of your higher self i hope i mean i'm getting goosebumps while i'm talking so i'm sure you guys are as well okay this is just my soul speaking to you guys it's not even funny what's happening right now this is such a powerful full moon guys okay i have a lot of 12th house planets my 12th house is in capricorn so the way i build stability in my life is through my subconscious mind okay without my subconscious mind i would be lost without this piscian energy i would be lost and that is what i'm destined to um channel in this lifetime so i'm sure that people who resonate with this frequency the depth of my frequency my soul you guys will flock to me and we will flock to each other on the same frequency right same vibration same energy and we will ascend together because we are meant to right so this is why i did not want to come uh, on the video this time i just wanted to do this session with you where i'm channeling certain things and um this is exactly what i have for you my love so make sure that you're writing down in the comments below what you felt about this channeled messages what you felt and if you could like this would greatly help me and my channel and my videos circulate to other parts of youtube um and uh, reach more people who are suffering who are going through stuff and to help them trans- transmute that energy into refinement and into beauty right ah beautiful my loves i feel so relieved doing this for you guys and um thank you so much for always loving me always supporting me in the comment comments i uh, always watch i always read your comments and it's so beautiful to be able to connect with you guys um talk to you guys and reach out to you guys through my messages uh, i hope that you enjoyed this if you want a personal reading for yourself you're looking for some guidance uh you find my uh energy soothing helpful and that i will be able to guide you through my words and through my cards and anything through my channeling as well you're more than welcome you can check out the description box below and you can get in touch with me uh through my link tree link which is given below if you're feeling extra generous i have my amazon wish list there i also have my paypal so you can donate to the channel if you wish to see this channel grow more and more uh if you wish to see me grow and you're already in the stage of growth and you're feeling generous you can do that right um and please let me know how you felt about this reading i would definitely love it and please also let me know about the answers to these questions that i asked here okay and i'm definitely sure i'm going to let you know my answers as well in the comments okay so let's discuss this i would love to do this and initiate all of us as a soul group into this beautiful channel message frequency all right so thank you so much my loves i love you all from the bottom of my heart um in this infinity okay we are all immortal we are all infinite and i hope to see you in some other realm in some other world in the cosmos because we are on this adventure and mostly i am on the side of unity and i hope you are too so take care and peace